himself into a very, very bad place, and I hope it can lead to change. All right, well, that, that's your position, and indeed you did write in the, uh, an op-ed in the Financial Times last year, in which you talked about a chance to escape uh, Murdoch's embrace. I want to uh, read you some of how Rebecca Brooks herself summed up, on the, uh, as, the, as the judicial inquiry, her contacts with the current Prime Minister, David Cameron. Basically, she was saying, and this I'm quoting the New York Times now, that they talked by telephone, text message, email, they met at lunches and dinners, they socialized at cocktail parties, birthday parties, summer outings, Christmas celebrations, and in one heady instance, on a yacht in Greece. Is that appropriate? I'm not talking about legal or illegal. I'm talking about is that an appropriate relationship between a newspaper editor and a prime minister? I think David Cameron is, is on the record as saying that, uh, that he got too close, and he says that all politicians got at times too close. I mean, I, I, I must say that Tony Blair never had a mobile phone when he was uh, prime minister, so uh, the texting certainly didn't go on. He would, I think I said at the inquiry yesterday that in a three-year period, from 2002 to 2005, Tony Blair spoke to Rupert Murdoch on the phone six times in total. Meetings maybe once or twice, max three times a year, probably, when Rupert Murdoch might be coming through town, if there was a board meeting here, whatever. But I certainly think that it's got too close. And I was interested, I, I said in the inquiry yesterday, I remember once one of our meetings with George Bush in the, in the run-up to the Iraq war, George Bush asking myself and Tony Blair what Rupert Murdoch was like because he'd never met him. Oh, so then we met Rupert Murdoch. Is it no? And uh, I thought, wow, that's pretty good. Well, well, uh, so I think you, you do have a, you do, I'm not saying that you don't have important media yeah, figures in the, the American landscape, but I think they're maybe just not such a part of the political debate as they've been here. What I've been arguing is in a sense that the political class has got to do a better job of standing up for itself. I think, to be honest, I mean, because she's not terribly well, one is not meant to speak uh, badly of, of Margaret Thatcher, but I think a lot of this does go back to the Thatcher era when the, the papers were kind of, it's almost like they were part of her team. Well, and, um, you know, I, I, sorry. well just on that note, uh, it was thought.